uh, China will win the AI race. Uh, let's start with you, John, since you're sitting in the studio here with me. Um, what what do you what do you make of that? Well, I think he then subsequently modified his comments to say that. U.S. was still ahead in the race, but if it was not careful and it didn't accelerate, then China would overtake it. And I think that's probably right. For the moment, uh, U.S. I think has the lead in frontier models and is committing a colossal amount of investment to the infrastructure development. But China is adopting a very different approach. Uh, it's going for open weights models, um, which uh, enable kind of mass applications of these models. Sorry, John, just explain for a non-technical audience what what's the difference the open weights models and the. So it the means that. Um, any developer can take these models and adapt them a lot more easily than the closed weight models that um, the US uh, developers tend to use. So, th so that means that they they keep their kind of secret source secret, basically. That it's not out there for everyone to share and add on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, that's basically right. I think um, so. It does enable China, I think, to develop this technology and apply it um, far more quickly than uh, you can using a kind of proprietary model developed by an open AI or uh, Google, for example. Um, and you're seeing a lot of U.S. developers uh, actually adopting these Chinese models themselves because they are uh, cheaper, faster, more agile, um, and uh, are very powerful. So. Um, I think uh, they're almost competing in, on different terrain, as it were. America is competing at the kind of commanding heights of this technology, and China is competing at the application layer.